This is part three of how to use images in Beatographer, and what I'm going to show you is my favorite, favorite thing. It's how to convert images using a palette that you've already set up. So first I'm going to get rid of this. Just take all the beads that we've already got on there and highlight them and delete them. And you'll see that the image that we had of the Doberman, it's still there. If I wanted to get rid of it and bring in another image, I can just delete the image and it, it gets rid of it from here and then I can upload another one as I did before. Um, but for now, there are no beads on the canvas. The doggy's still there and um, we can try again. And I think we can get a much better conversion this time. So I'm gonna clear the palette. And just so you know, another way to work with these is to hold down shift and it brings up this menu and it tells you what the, the bead uh, product is, um, tells you about it. You can assign symbols if you want. I'm just going to delete the swatch. So I could delete all of them like that. Or, as I did last time, now that there are no beads on the canvas, I can delete the unused swatches and it clears it. Now, you can load up a palette like I showed you before with the bead library looking up colors that you have or that you'd, you think you'd like to use and add them that way and, and create a palette that way. Or um, paid members can save their palettes. So here's one that I really like. Um, I'm gonna load that one. This is, uh, just get rid of that one because it's down here. This is a collection of browns and grays that I love. Um, and work for a lot, a lot of animals, which is what I like to create. So um, if you have a combination that you've already put together and saved, this can really make the conversion process fast. Um, so there's one. We, we've only started putting in our own beads, but we've got a few collections in here. Here's another, um, another set. So again, that's a duplicate. That's a duplicate. I'll get rid of those. So here's the palette that I want to load. I'll go back to the canvas and you can see it's been loaded in. And now when I go to the image tool and click convert, I'm going to click use only styles in the palette. And you can see there's 14, but this gets disregarded. If you tick this box, um, whatever's here, it doesn't pay attention to that. So it's going to look at the, the colors that I've set up in the palette and apply them in the conversion. And, oh, I'm much happier with that. You see, we've got a bit, a few purples. I don't like that. So I'm going to, I wasn't intending for the purples to get used. I'm going to undo. That takes all the beads off. And I'm going to try again. I'm going to get rid of the purple. I'm going to get rid of some of these other colors that I don't really want to be used. I think only the pink for this. That's the only one I wanted. Okay, so let's try again. Um, I'm going to, oops, sorry, go, go to image convert. Use only the styles in the palette. Convert it. And there we go. And I think that's actually not too bad. Um, select all the whites. Delete those select the, that, sorry, delete the pink, delete that one. Um, you can kind of tweak as you like. I'm just gonna make that black, make that black. Um, I'll make that black too. Okay, and there we go. So you can see how quick, if you set up palettes in advance, um, it can make the conversion really fast if you're working with uh, photos that have the same sorts of colors. Um, uh, you know, flowers would probably work really well if you set up a range of colors that work well, that you know work well together. Then you can use that tool to convert using the colors you've set up. So we'll be making more tutorial videos that are better thought through, but uh, in the meantime, if you have any questions or need any help, um, just get in touch and and I'll help you uh, transfer your photos. So thanks and good luck.